Hey, hey, yo, what's up, everybody? Holmes here, and we are back with some more Bloodborne Arcane build run. And yeah, today we are going to be taking on the Blood Star Beast. The, uh, the tactic for this uh, boss is just I th I'm going to try to parry it to death. Kind of like Ascoin, except we don't have the. We don't have any music boxes to help us. I guess our gun can act as a music box. When we land a parry like that, boom, music's in my ear. Bitch. And try to get a backstab when uh when it tries to transform. That attack when it when you see him slam its head to the ground, like when it tries to bite you just parry. Let's see what yeah, what do you get? Boom. Oh shit, I didn't too late that one. <laughs> did it too late that time. A little bit of panic there. It's all good. Getting it under control. Let's get some blood bullets happening and heal up. Alright, what do you got? Claw attack. Yeah, claw attack and the head snap. That's um, our key to victory here. Once you drop its HP to like about this much, try to get behind him because he'll do that little transformation. Alright, looks like we're not gonna land a backstab there. Um, I call it a transformation because now when, if you get hit by its attack, it can now poison. That lunge attack and just dodge it to the left side. The lunge attack might look pretty similar to the clawing swipe attack, so you have to kind of pay attention. Yeah. I'll get the head slam. I missed my opportunity there. That's a grab attack, so be careful. If you get grabbed, you're screwed. Lunge attack will avoid that. You can also parry it, but I have like no luck parrying that shit. That's why I didn't bother. Got poison, so let's take a moment to get some antidote. If it does the combo attack, 90% of chance if you just pop off a shot, you'll just you'll get him with like a parry. Oh, I fucked up my backstab. Come on, backstab. There we go. Into the asshole. Oosh. That's a lot of shit you got back in the backed up there. <laughs> there we go. Now be careful because in this stage, he's in stage three right now. That's what I'm calling it because now there's like poison spewing out of him. When you when it's in this stage, you can easily get poisoned because all the like blood that's squirting out or the poison fog, I don't know what it is. Uh, if you're just near him slashing away, you're just like, the poison will just build up, and then you'll just get poisoned. So be really careful about like dealing with its third stage. It triggers at around, I think, 40% of its HP. So when you drop it to like 40%, that's when it happens. So, yeah, watch out for that. And I think I've only used one antidote, right? One or two. Wasn't really keeping track. I think it was one. I'm not sure. Anyways, back to the Hunter's Dream. And this is going to be kind of a short episode here. Um, this today is New Year's Eve. So tomorrow, I'll, I'm thinking of taking a break from uh, the Arcane Bill run. I might just do, um, I don't know, something <laughs> I like for the New Year's just to celebrate. And then we'll continue the arcane build run i promise so don't worry it's not going anywhere uh for those of you guys that are wondering about the magic build for demon souls uh i do stat uh plan on continuing that but it's not like as priority as my bloodborne run because this is what you guys voted for that magic build which is on the like kind of like a side project that i threw in here um so yeah but if i got more time i will do um do more videos on that so don't worry about it uh but, 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 but i think i don't have any more reserve silver bullets huh let me just double check that real quick because otherwise it would have uh yeah replenish it's okay what we're we taking on next the church Eh, I think we'll be fine with the amount of bullets we have. I 
At least I hope. I mean, I can always convert blood bullets, so. Welcome home. What is it you... Very well. Let me... Alright, let's up our arcane. A little bit. I think that should be good. Yep. Farewell, good hunt. May you find... And we're pretty close to getting the... Well, one of Ludwig's sword it's gonna be the holy blade first and then once we take out amelia and then we'll access the dlc area and finally obtain the moonlight sword which is what i want because um that's what i'm basing my bill off of um so yeah let's go back to the central ward Alright, now that this door is open, because it was previously locked, like if you had just came here for the first time and then you didn't do the old yarn, this, this is still locked, okay? So once you clear out um, the blood star piece, that's what unlocks this part. And then this is a whole new little area. It's kind of like a side area that unlocks um, Amelia. So, you know, that's what we're going to be taking on next, which is going to be... Um, the central ward area so yeah uh <laughs> thank you all so very much for watching and uh happy 2021 i know this this video will be up on um the 31st or maybe already new year's depending on where you live i guess so just in case you know happy new year's and i uh, hope you all have a good new year and like i said um, once it actually hits New Year on my time, which is Pacific time, uh, I'm gonna upload either a PvP video or one of the Gauntlets video from Sekiro. So, I don't know, just something that I wanna put in there for the New Year's. So, anyways, thank you all so very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Ohms. Oops.